This video tutorial will cover the generation of labels in WebLDMS. Outside the dedicated labels module, you can print labels in specimen management, storage, and shipping. In specimen management, you can generate labels in each of the three grids. In the aliquot grid, using this drop down menu and selecting print labels will generate a label for an individual aliquot. In the primary grid, Using this drop-down menu and selecting Print Aliquot Labels will generate labels for all aliquots from this one primary. And the last is the Visit Grid. Using print labels at this level will generate labels for all available specimens from this visit. In Storage, clicking Stored Samples, the Print Labels option is available in each level of your storage structure. You can print an individual label by clicking Print Labels to the right of the specimen. You can print labels for all of the specimens in the storage item by using the Print Label option at that level, either a container, a sublevel such as a rack, shelf, and even the freezer. In the shipment history page, you can reprint the labels for all the specimens belonging to a batch by using the drop down menu for that particular shipment and clicking print labels. After sessioning in Quick Add, you have two workflows available to print labels for your new specimens. In Specimen Management, apply a date filter, either within the Visit Filters and selecting the Collection Date, or under Specimen Filters and choosing the Receive Date. After that date filter is in place, generate the labels at the visit level by using the drop down menu and clicking print labels. You come to the print label screen where you need to set the format and the size if not already chosen for you. Clicking generate labels will create a PDF that you can then open in Adobe and print to your label printer. Please be aware of your browser settings so that you know where that PDF is being downloaded so you can access it. After generating labels for this one visit, use the right arrow button by the participant counter and then you can move to the next participant collected that day and generate labels from that visit. And continue for all of the participants that you collect specimens for on that date. You also have the ability of using our Labels module. Clicking on the Print Label page, apply a date filter, again either under Visit Filter or under Specimen Filters. Choose the Received Date or the Collection Date. This will show you all available specimens that were collected on that date. Click the checkbox to the left for the very first specimen and scroll down to the end of the list. Hold down the shift key. With that shift key held, click the last checkbox in the list and all of the specimens in the list will be highlighted. And then you may click print labels in the bottom center to bring up the print label menu. Thank you for watching this video. More information is available in the user manuals on our website www.ldms.org in the resources page. You may also contact user support with all questions. Your support contact information is also available 
on the LDMS website under the Contact Us page. Thank you.